Hello, my name's Simon Mason. I'm the author of this book, Too High, Too Far, Too Soon. It's a memoir that, amongst other things, talks about addiction, music festivals, getting high and getting low. And, uh, unfortunately, in my case, staying low for a very, very long time. It's my opinion that if anyone ever tells you that their drug use was always all good or always all bad, they're probably lying. And I'd have been lying had I not included a chapter or so about some of the better times of my drug use. The following extract took place at the Glastonbury Festival in 1994, where my business partner at the time and myself were trying to decide what exactly we would need in order to make our festival experience, shall we say, a positive one. We visited an army surplus store to try and buy a decent sized marquee, but ended up leaving with a 15 man tent. Not quite what we'd been after, but it did look pretty good when we eventually erected it against the hedge behind the back of the pyramid stage. We then purchased the biggest portable stereo we could find, about a million batteries, a couple of rugs, some lanterns, and a small wood burner as an afterthought. We also got a couple of sleeping bags just in case. I phoned Keith the bastard, and after a bit of haggling, we secured the youth of a four, use of a four-berth caravan to serve as an office slash secure place where we could stash our things. This would be parked a safe distance from the backstage area up in the travellers' field. Most importantly, however, he agreed to meet us outside the festival in Pilton Village, and therefore get us and our equipment in, for a price, of course. We also rented four long-range walkie-talkies, two expensive mobile phones, and after a few lines of coke later that evening, nearly managed to book a helicopter to take us off the site on the Sunday from the backstage area. At the last minute, however, we failed to find the necessary deposit money, seeing as our cash was now ring-fenced for the rest of our weekend's shopping list. The finished list was a little bit like this. Nine ounces of a very decent Colombian cocaine, into which we cut an ounce of baby's teething powder, which created an ounce of free coke for ourselves and other important people who might need bringing on side, thus leaving 252 grams of coke we could sell over the weekend, which felt about right. We also had 500 very strong E's, speckled doves if you must know, 100 hits of acid, half a kilo of weed, nine ounces of Indian hash, two ounces of amphetamine, three bottles of Chivas Regal, four cates of Stella, 400 mulber lights, 20 packets of Rizzler, some digital scales, a thousand little plastic bags, toilet paper, 10 rolls, and some chewing gum. There was also some other stuff that neither of us admitted to having, which was heroin, tin foil, bicarbonate of soda, a large spoon, and a blur CD.